Ladies, gentlemen, welcome back to another month of GTA Online Community Jobs. This month, we have a bit of a shocker. When you thought that last month wasn't great, wait until you see this one. Now, when I say that, I do very much mean that in my opinion. If you are someone who enjoys a race like I'm showing off right now, which is Steel Roller Coaster, and you really enjoy the fact you just have to do nothing but just holding the W button or R2 button on your controller, then more power to you personally i think that this is not the type of stuff that should be verified by rockstar because there is uh, very little interesting things happening and if you want to have races where you just have to do nothing but hit acceleration and go there's plenty of amazingly made stunt races that definitely do very much deserve that verified badge the same thing goes for the vehicle deathmatch where you have a big old arena and then somehow there has to be a deathmatch in there without any cover whatsoever and just a bunch of weaponized tempas just going at it murdering each other over and over and over again this might be a bit good for a laugh with some friends but personally i think this mode would have been a whole lot better if there were a few bits and bobs of cover so there would actually be a chance of survival without constantly just spawning and dying spawning and dying again personal taste maybe my standards are a bit too high gta football being the first time there being a capture featured within the community jobs and by default it is once again a melee combat only mode where you have to grab the package and obviously then score it in a goal it is um yeah it's not it's not great because it's one of those modes where you can just stand in the middle and then wait and then just run while you avoid everyone hitting you uh, melee combats in general in pvp in gta online it doesn't really work all that well mostly because of connection based issues and just generally the melee combat just kind of turns into people spamming the button and crossing their fingers dm maze is in concept a cool idea but the inherent problem becomes if that you're making a maze and then also have boxes where people can hop over the walls and constantly get the drop on you it does become a little bit like okay i'm standing on this box i can see literally everyone especially if you are decent at your aim you'll be able to basically pick everyone off from the other side of the maze completely kind of ignoring the fact that this is meant to be a maze rather than just another deathmatch map all right that's me done ranting about all the bad maps we have two more maps left that are actually good the first one being the properly made race by dirt rash over here which is called drt big fish canal now this is what you would expect to be a more seriously made circuit race here uh, for sports classics worked very well really enjoyed the fact that this is where all the corners are where they weren't in the other races inside of this batch very cool race very well done really enjoyed playing it uh really nicely done in terms of what they're doing with in terms of props and smoothing out the races and that sort of stuff if you ever played any of the more seriously made race circuits then this is something that will definitely tickle your fancy really enjoyed this one very good job and finally black and yellow which is the other deathmatch within this that is actually good the map itself is very nicely made though i'm not super sure how well it will work in a 8v8 situation i do very much feel that maybe 6v6 might be the most you want to be doing on this map 8 versus 8 might get a little bit too chaotic especially if you add the fact that it seems to be you only have 20 lives inside of this deathmatch which is a very interesting twist to the traditional deathmatch formula i hope that it does scale to the amount of players that are within the match we were playing it in a 3v3 situation at which point we did have 20 lives so hopefully the more players there are the more team lives you will have because if you're playing this in an 8v8 situation it might become uh, very interesting though having said that if you are in an 8v8 situation and you only have 20 lives you might have to play very careful or you might have to become a absolute gamer gun if you have to carry the team but yeah those are my thoughts on the jobs i understand that they were predominantly negative but again these are just my opinions if there's anything in there that you think you might like to play with some friends or whatever then feel free to do so definitely highly recommend checking out big fish canal and the black and yellow if you're looking for some very good quality jobs made indeed Anyways, those are my thoughts. Let me know yours in the comments below. Leave a like, subscribe, and if you like what you see on the channel, become a member like Chloe and GTA+. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all later.